These screens are on by a magnet. See that? It already came up. Doesn't take much effort. There you go. And when you take it off, I like to always leave it face down so that way at least no dust gets on the uh, side of the glass. You want to remove this cover here. It requires a Phillips. Let's see if a, this flat head will do it. Okay, and we'll lay it back down. Obviously, you want to be real careful of the screen right here, not to drop any tools on it. Try not to get too much dust on it. That's nearly impossible. Any dust is too much. These screws are longer, so when you're putting them back together, remember the bottom row has longer screws than the rest. Okay, once you've taken all the screws out, you have to pry the screen up. It's going to be a little bit stuck at first. Just go real slow. You can push right here on the foam padding. Work your way down. And it's connected. A little camera right here. So there we go. And this is full of dust, so before I put it back together, I may as well get rid of the dust. It's not terribly bad now, but once it starts collecting, it acts like its own filter and a blanket, keeping your computer pretty hot. And uh, the more it collects, the more it will collect. Because one clump of dust will make it easier for the others to stick. Disconnected here. And this connection we'll have to unscrew. That one's pretty small. I'll have to get my other bits. the screw right there. And this one doesn't want to come out. And this is the new hard drive we're going to put in. It's a Seagate 500. 
uh, Gigabyte Serial ATA drive, 7200 RPM, 60 megabyte cache, and um, got it at Best Buy for just under 70 bucks out the door. So it wasn't that expensive. This is the Seagate, uh, the Barracuda 500 gigabyte hard drive that I'm going to put in the iMac and replace this 320 gigabyte Apple uh, Western Digital hard drive. Now this iMac, uh, let's turn on that way. Um, the only differences are You can see this one is a lot thinner than this one. And also, this one has a four connector for the temperature sensor, and this one has an eight pin. So this one doesn't matter on this iMac because it doesn't have anything that hooks up into here. This sensor just gets taped onto the hard drive and it uh, reads the heat so this hard drive will work for this computer and what you have to do when you get it out is swap the posts swap this uh, clip here so I took them out of here and put it on here and then underneath this piece of foam is a temperature uh, sensor that you have to unplug from the old one and then you have to take your clip that holds it onto your hard drive and uh, put the plastic clip from your old hard drive and stick it to your new one uh, I don't know use whatever kind of adhesive you can I have some uh, framers double stick tape that I use but you don't want to get any um, in between where the sensor will clip in and it just kind of clips in like this kind of awkward to do, there it goes. And uh, I have to bend the wires up on this one to get it to fit a little bit. And then uh, it'll just all attach back in. You put in these two cables. Like that. And these posts go back in these two holes there. And then you push this until it clicks. And that's about it.